Hello. I'm Officer Jim Miller. One of my jobs is to teach young people how to cross the street safely. It's really quite simple to be safe as long as you follow a few basic rules. I'm going out to meet some of my young friends now. Why don't you come along? I hope you'll learn something, and maybe you'll have some fun while you do. Hi, kids. Hi, Officer Now, before we get started, I'd like you to meet the real teacher. Hi, I'm Willie Wessel with an important message about crossing streets. Policemen, crossing guards, crosswalks, and traffic lights can really help us cross the street. But they aren't always there when you need them. So, we're going to show you how to cross the street even when there's no help around. Willie's absolutely right, and it's probably more fun to listen to him than it is to me. So, I'm going to let him do most of the talking and only help out when I'm needed. I want you to meet some friends of mine. If you like them, maybe you want to join them. Meet Laura and Woody and Billy. Hi. 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 Laura and Woody and Billy are friends of mine because they know the right way to cross streets. Do you? I do. You do? Are you sure? Yeah, sure. It's easy. Good. You want to show us? Yeah. I think maybe you'd better listen to Laura, Woody, and Billy. Would you like to learn the safe way? The way we did, it isn't hard. Actually, it's kind of easy. Yeah. Very good. Now, the first thing we're going to learn about is curbs. Laura, if you want to be a safe street crosser, what do you do whenever you come to a curb? You stop. Billy, what do you do when you come to a curb? You stop. Woody, what do you do when you come to a curb? You stop. Correct. When you come to the curb, you stop. Always? Always. Every time. You always stop when you come to a curb. Stopping at the curb or the edge of the road when there is no curb is the first important thing to remember. Correct. You're absolutely right. You stop every time you come to a curb. There may be cars coming and you don't want them to hit you. There may be a car coming from the left or there may be a car coming from the right. So you look to the left and you look to the right, and then you look to the left again, just to make sure. Everybody understand? That isn't hard, is it? Before going into the street for any reason, when you come to the curb, you stop. Then you look to the left, to the right, and to the left again. You don't go into the street until you're sure no cars are coming. Now, just to be sure you know left from right, let's have everybody wear a yellow glove on their left hand. And everybody wave their left hand. That's great. To be sure which is your right hand, let everybody put a purple glove on their right hand. And let's wave the right hand hard. Really wave it. Very good. Now, let's wave again. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Now, to make it even easier, everybody raise your left hand and watch this. Okay, now everybody raise your right hand. How's that? Let's try it. Maria, would you like to show us how to cross safely? You stop at the curb and look to the left, to the right, and to the left again. But now there's a car there. So, you wait till it passes and start all over again. You look to the left, to the right, and to the left again. Now it's clear, and you're okay. Good. Thanks, Maria. Bobby, will you show us how it works? First, stop at the curb, then look to the left and to the right. But there's a car coming, so you wait till it passes and start again. Look to the left, look to the right, Look to the left again. The street is clear, and you're okay. That was great, Bobby. Just remember to always stop and look. Left, right, left. 
every time you cross the street. I will. Thanks, Bobby. Everybody with us so far? I thought you would be. Now, what do you do if there are cars parked on the street? You stop at the curb, but you can't really see if a car is coming or not. It's kind of different, isn't it? Laura, would you show us what to do in this case? Well, I stop at the curb and check to make sure that the parked cars are not running and empty. Then, I go out to the outside edge of the parked cars and stop. I look left, right, and left again, just like I did before. Good. Thanks, Laura. Woody, would you show us what to do if there are cars parked on the street? After I stop at the curb and check to see that the parked cars are empty, I go out to their edge and look left, right, and left. If there's a car coming, then I step back till it passes, and then walk out to the edge again and look left, right, and left until I don't see any more cars coming. Thanks, Woody. Willie, please go over the three basic things to remember. First, always stop at the curb before you go off the sidewalk. Second, after you stop at the curb, always look to the left and to the right and to the left again till there are no cars coming. Third, if cars are parked on the street, always go to the edge of the parked cars where you can see and stop before looking left, right, and left. If you see a car coming from any direction, wait till it passes and then look left, right, and left again till there are no cars coming each time you look. And that's it. That isn't so hard, is it? If you always remember to stop and look, you'll be a safe street crosser like us. And we'd really like you to be a safe street crosser like us. So, remember the things we learn before you step off the sidewalk. It's one good way to avoid accidents, and you make it work. <laughs>